Well, hello there. Been a while. Just realized I was gonna shoot this video and then I came to the realization that I haven't shot a video in a very long time, which is very strange. I actually really enjoy shooting these videos. Uh, you know, just sharing things off the cuff. I don't really prepare these ever, as you, <laughs> as you guys can likely tell. No editing, nothing like that. But when I, I come across an experience or an interesting thought I like to share it with people and if people listen fantastic if they don't fantastic gives me a chance uh, just to kind of get it out of my head anyways so I apologize if the structure is not to the liking of some professionals out there who are shooting these videos but that's not really my goal it's just to connect with y'all and talk about some real life shit which in this moment is I just had a thought about the long weekend coming up and getting back into reality uh, after that in September. I'm launching a coaching program and I thought, oh, well, let's do it after the long weekend when we get back into reality. And then I started thinking, I don't know what that actually what that is actually going to look like. Then I started thinking about my sister and I was wondering, oh, I wonder what the what my nephews are doing if they're going back to school and all this stuff. Then I started thinking, <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty good at uh, having these kind of rabbit hole thought processes, especially when I'm extremely tired like I am these last couple days. If you follow, if you're my buddy on Facebook, I, you probably saw me post, I have been sleeping like one hour a night for the last three nights. So it's been absolutely brutal. Um, anyway, so I'm not on my top game today. However, I have had an extremely productive day, totally relaunched the website, put up some new ads, all the good stuff. Anyways, back on track. I was, think, I was thinking about all that stuff and then I thought, just in general, about how old my young, my older nephew is getting, Riker. And I just thought, geez, every time I see him, because I just got back from Ontario, and every time I go home, it's like he's three or four years older, it feels like. And then I just started thinking about how quickly he's grown up. And it really, truly feels like just a couple of years ago, he was a baby when it was 10 years ago. And, you know, of course, the, the whole saying of when we're, ch you know, when we're children and our parents say, oh, you know, you, they grow up so quick. Classic example of this. But it's very interesting in the perspective that I've seen it, to, uh, that I've been thinking about it here just now. Because in his reality, his life has probably been going on forever. He's probably thinking, what is going on here? Especially with this COVID crap. But to us as adults, when we look back, looking at a younger child even growing up, it offers a great perspective for us to see really how quickly life goes by and how fast time goes by. And the interesting perspective that I had about this was how so many of us, even as adults, are just so young. You know, uh, of course we get older, we age and all of these things, but time flies on the grand scheme of things. How fast our lives go by is incredible. And what that means is we don't have a lot of time to grow up. And whether we're 50 years old or 60 or 40 or 35 years old, like I'm going to be in another week, you know, we're still just babies. We're adult babies. We're dealing with the same Issues, you know, the more that I learn about CBT and NLP and positive psychology and depth psychology and all this stuff, the more you learn very quickly about how everything just goes back to what we went through as children and our environment we were raised in and our parents and all this stuff. And it's very true. And today just offered me a really powerful perspective of just how quickly time goes by and how little time we have to actually grow as human beings. And you know, the whole, it goes back to the whole thing where when we're little, we're, we think that you grow up into this big world and everything changes and you get your shit together and <laughs> you have this big, incredible plan. When the reality is for anyone who's listening to this, that's 30 plus will likely agree with me. None of us really know what the hell we're doing. <laughs> we're just kind of cruising around, you know, doing the best we can with what we got. But at the end of the day, we're all dealing with we're all children emotionally, you know, I put a lot of work into personal development myself, working on triggers, 
taking off masks, you know, all this incredible s- stuff that Carl Jung talks about. And still, you know, at the end of the day, when you look back, we're just uh, children emotionally. We're always kind of going to have that, you know, the, the real value is the awareness towards it more. So, you know, you can overcome it and I'm becoming successful in doing that with being very intentional with it. But the big secret to it all is the awareness of, of how we act and who we are and where all that comes from. But, you know, you really do learn just how young we are and how little time we do really have to grow up. And it was just such an interesting perspective just popped in my head just now just thinking how quickly we grow up as children because you don't realize that in your own life like 35 years one part of me thinks that went by pretty quick another part thinks you know of course this is you know I've accomplished a lot and I've traveled around the world and I've done all these incredible things but sure you know time does fly and I'm you know I was just thinking I read a post last week uh, my best friend when we were 10 years old he unfortunately passed away and it was actually just I think I believe it was uh, a couple weeks ago or last week uh, his cousin shared a post about um, just a remembrance post and it was actually the 25th year because I'm turning 35 and we were 10 10 years old at the time and so I've actually been thinking I think subconsciously about that for the for the past week and maybe you know how that happens we think about it you know under under the water deep below we're thinking about these things and then today just pops in my head that I have this thought process anyways it's nothing fancy we all know this stuff but just a very interesting perspective because we always know or sorry I've I shouldn't speak for anyone but I've always kind of had this assumption where there's so many of us out there who are just trying to get by we're adults but emotionally and mentally in a lot of cases we're not and this was just a really cool perspective to see that in a light of showing how potentially that's really true because for the first time that I've really thought about it even just briefly I know of course time goes by fast but for some reason just thinking about that with my nephew just thought wow you know he didn't have a lot of time to get from where he is to where we are sure we think 10 years is a lot but it's not and you know just makes you realize we're all doing the best we can with what we have we're all still learning we're all still growing and life is short so have fun enjoy it get out there but you know make something of it at the same time I do believe we're all here for a purpose for me finding happiness I've learned is in the fulfillment of growth and pursuit Uh, some people I think when think that when people strive for you know to do great things it's to reach happiness but I think the real secret is that the happiness is in the pursuit of growth and that's something that I'm very that I feel very lucky to have had the opportunity to have learned and that's why you know gratitude is such an important part of my practice uh, my daily routine because that's really the only chance I ever give myself to sit back and say you know force myself to say what are three incredible things that happened today and what am I grateful for? Because otherwise, you know, you wake up the next day and it's five years later. So that's very important in my life. But anyways, it's good to be back. It's good to talk to y'all. I am doing a video series for a coaching program. I got a few programs coming out in the fall. I have a couple books coming out. One's done now and edited and I should have it soon. The other one's just about finished. Uh, I'm just about finished writing it. Very excited for all that stuff. But, you know, it's different when I can just jump on here and chat like myself to whoever listens. (laughs) So have a great day. I will talk to y'all later. Peace.